You may have seen my video about programming using Edlin, and I used Edlin 2.22 in that video, and that came out after FreeDOS 1.3 was released, so I'd compile that version from source on my FreeDOS install. So here's how to do that. So Gregory Peach wrote FreeDOS Edlin, and it's just like the original DOS Edlin, but what makes this version so great is you can compile Edlin on other systems than just DOS. Uh, for example, I've compiled it on my Linux system. Uh, so you'll note that uh, Edlin source code has some other stuff in there to compile on other platforms, uh, like it's got a configure script for Unix and Linux systems. Uh, but if you're compiling this on FreeDOS, there is an ow.bat file, and uh, another developer, Rugzulo, wrote that to make it easy to compile FreeDOS uh, Edlin. But it assumes that you need to go into an Edlin directory first, and I'm already in an Edlin directory, so the batch file won't actually run. Uh, it will just immediately exit. Now, it turns out that if I backed up one directory, it actually would work as long as the directory is called edlin2.22. Uh, but we're going to edit the ow.bat file just so you can see what it would look like to edit uh, the file and compile the program on your own. So let's go ahead and edit ow.bat. Now, if I uh, go down a little bit, we'll see that there are these three lines that are very important right here. Uh, it's going to test if the edlin2.22 directory exists, and if it doesn't, it's going to go ahead and uh, unzip the uh, the zip file. And uh, then it will, uh, if it doesn't actually work, then it will actually just go ahead and exit. Otherwise, it'll go into the directory and the rest of the batch file uh, takes over. And as I said, I could back up one directory and run this, but I wanted to show what it looks like to actually compile this by editing it kind of by hand. So let's go ahead and, and remove these three lines. I hate actually removing lines from files, so let's just use rem to rem these out. And we'll go ahead and save that, and we'll exit back to DOS. Now, uh, this is going to compile uh, Edlin using open Watcom. And I should also add that uh, before I started this video, I uh, ran the uh, OW set env script, which is in devel watcom c. So if you are going to compile this on your system, you should also run OW set env first. But back to where we were. Uh, so let's go ahead and just run the ow.bat file. And this will go ahead and now compile a new version of Edlin on my FreeDOS system. And it now creates a DOS executable, and we can look at that as edlin16.exe. Now, just to prove I'm running this and not my system edlin.exe, let me just actually uh, run uh, the program edlin. Now, my system version of edlin is called edlin16, not edlin. So I'll get a, a bad commander file name. So let's go ahead and rename this edlin. 16.exe to just edlin.exe. And that way we all know that I'm actually, if I'm running Edlin, it'll actually run this version of Edlin. So we run Edlin. And there it is. We're running a recently compiled uh, FreeDOS Edlin 2.22. And that's how you can do it. Uh, what'd you think of this video? Was it helpful to you? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, before I go, I want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. I know I say that every week, but it really does matter to me. Uh, some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I want to thank you here, especially for that. Visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Mastodon. Consider supporting me on Patreon. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.